Okay, tonight represents the electrical test of my homemade coffee roaster. It's still in parts because I'm, well, testing and I need to get some insulation. So, what we have here is we have our PID, motor on, temperature monitor, and heating elements. All right, <clears throat> if you've been following along on Instagram, then uh, you will already be able to identify most of the components. But this is the control board here. Everything is hooked up, labeled, down to the smallest detail, which I don't know if my camera will, there we go. And tells me which one is negative, which one is positive. So it's date relay wires, power in, says where everything goes and everything is numbered. All right. So this part of the test, we won't be testing solid state relay one. And the reason being is because, well, it ain't there. But we will test the motor and one set of heating elements. So without further ado, let me put you back up here and we'll start plugging it in. Now everything is run off of two separate 110 volt circuits. And the reason I've done this is because I really don't want to run a wire right now for the outlet that I want to install. It's the outlet I want to install is a standard four prong dryer outlet. Looks like this. It's 220 volts. That's 110, 110, ground and neutral. And uh, the reason I wanted to do that is because then it would be like having two separate 110 volt circuits. So here is the first one. And this is from one side of the shop, which is on a 15 amp breaker. And no sparks, no magic smoke. All right. And then I'm plugging in the second one, which is from the other side of the shop, also on a 15 amp breaker. Plugged in, no magic sparks. No magic smoke, no sparks, no nothing. That's good. Drink. All right, as you can see, I have each one numbered. This is one, two, and three, and that is the order that they must come on. The first order of business is the motor. And as you can see, the motor came on without any issue. So that's good news. Second order of business is the temperature monitor. And she boots right up. Once it finishes its cycle, I can start the heating elements. And I won't know what's going on because the heating elements take quite a bit of time to heat up. So I brought this device and the baseline for the unit is 80 degrees. It's 80 degrees in a shop, it's hot. So I'm gonna walk around to the back of the unit underneath of my wire and take a shot and they are heating up, which means and no matter how I look at this, tonight's test is a success. And I'll be honest, I'm in shock. Because nothing catastrophic has happened. I'm a little, a little bit stunned. No smoke, things don't seem to be getting hot. I'm not going to poke my hand in there because, well, for reasons. The wires do not seem to be getting hot. So, this looks like a very promising first test. And these units heat up pretty slowly, but that's what I want. They're supplemental. The coil inside is what will be doing all the work. Wait. 
We already have 88 degrees on the front of the unit. 81 on top. And it takes a long time for that drum to heat up because it's a lot of surface area, but uh, this is something that I can get over 250 inside the unit. So, and we've seen a temperature increase on the thermostat. So that means today is a success and now I can make the metal enclosure for this unit. and call it a night.